What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a team that I actually shared with you guys on Twitter the other day. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, go ahead and check it out. I post a lot of funny stuff there. I, I at least would like to assume I'm funny. That's up to you guys to decide. Uh, however, I did post a replay with this team uh, where I got some some pretty cool stuff off. It was, it was it's, it's a really fun team that I built with my buddy Evidescent in a coaching session. His Twitter will be linked in the description, so make sure you go and follow him there. Uh, but this team uh, was basically built around the idea of I want to use Zoroark, and Zoroark is generally bad. <laughs> so yeah, this Zoroark is um, basically meant to sort of fake out our opponent and to make him think that we're going for Trick Room. Uh, you might be wondering why are we running Runerigus over like Dusclops, and the reason is um, Zoroark is going to be usually copying the Runerigus, uh, and because both of Dusclops' abilities being Pressure and Frisk, like they show up as soon as it hits the field. Uh, if my opponent is being observant, which they usually are, uh, and they don't see Frisk or Pressure come out, they're going to be like, ah, yes, that is the Zorark. So uh, we're using Runerigus because it's probably one of the better uh, dark type, or not dark types, one of the better ghost types uh, that has access to Bulldoze and Trick Room. Uh, and the reason that we're disguising it as Runerigus is because it, it makes it so Zorark almost never gets faked out, so its Focus Sash will stay intact the first turn. Um, and also, if they go for a uh, thing that Runerigus is weak to, like a Ghost or a Dark move, we actually resist both of those, so that's really, really cool. Also, we can stay in versus Ndidi and actually get the Sneak KO because they're likely going to Expanding Force um, and feel comfortable in the face of Runerigus because it's uh, immune to Ghost moves. So, yeah, we're also running... Uh, very bulky, zero speed Tyranitar with weakness policy lash out, the usual sauce. Uh, the Runerigus is actually EV'd to live uh, Life Orb Hyper Voice from Modest Max Special Attack Pre Marina. And it's also able to take pretty much any dark move, even plus two um, max darkness from certain Pokemon. Uh, we have the Scope Lens Toekiss, generally speedy, generally bulky. Kobaberia, Moongus, and Safety Goggles and Cinnamar. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This team has actually been doing pretty well for me. What's my overall ladder right now? I'm on my main account. Yeah, it's 1561. Not terrible. Uh, so I'm going to try to hit 1600 today with this. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this standpoint time, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, also answer the common question of the day. What do you think... Excuse me, my, my voice just kind of cut out for some reason there. What do you think is probably like just the best Pokemon in the format? A lot of people would say Togekiss, a lot of people say Rillaboom. A little bit of a toss-up. If you have a, a weird take, do you think it's like Duraludon or something? Just, just let me know in the comment section now. Like I'm really curious what people's opinion on the best Pokemon is right now. At least in VGC, that's what I mean. Okay, cool. So this match um, is actually a little bit tough. They have a lot of options for dealing with Runerigus. However, I think I'm guaranteed my Trick Room, um, and I don't really fear much other than the Pre-Marina, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, they have a really bad matchup as soon as I remove Pre-Marina, but they're, je they're definitely going to bring it to the match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Zorark, Tokus on the lead, and I'm going to bring Tyranitar and disguise the Zorark as Runerigus. And the whole point of this is... Um, depending on their lead, I can adjust my game plan. Because we have two fast special attackers on the lead, um, I do have an option in just removing things from the field, you know, like just, just getting huge damage off. Alright, cool. So that is the Tokus. I'm thinking my best play is likely to um, Sludge Bomb and Max Airstream into the Tokus. I'm going to burn my Dynamax early because it seems they're going for a faster route here, and it's likely that they brought... Um, Rillaboom or Incineroar or something in the back. I don't think they brought Premier in here. So I'm going to burn my Dynamax and go for a fast mode, and I can kind of clean up in the endgame with a slow mode, is what I'm thinking. There we go. Alright, that's actually a really, really solid turn for me then. Yeah, we just removed the Tokus entirely. There's no way it takes both of these. Beautiful. Thank you, Crit Airstream. And now we have plus one Runerigus. And, <laughs> not Runerigus, we have plus one um, Zorark versus Incineroar, and it's it's pretty obvious they're going to want to go for a fake out here, so I have to be careful with that. Um, yeah, they're likely going to fake out the Zorark here. So I think it's in my best interest to, hmm. I think I should just actually stay in and allow them to do that. I can attempt a Burning Jealousy in case... Nah, there's no way they move faster than me. So I should always just go for the um, the Sludge Bomb. 
and a max airstream into the... yeah. So they should fake out Runeragus here, knowing that it's the Zoroark. And I'm kind of hoping they remove the Zoroark from the field, because then I can just get up my Trick Room and win in the endgame with the Tyranitar. Ah yes, beautiful. So here, um, I should just get in Runeragus. And I'm thinking I can Trick Room up and get in Tyranitar. Because they shouldn't be going for a fighting move or anything into my Toekiss slot, so I should just be able to get this. There's the Max Guard. There's the Darkest Lariat. We take that because of our Koba Berry. Ah, yes. Yes, and now we Bulldoze and we Rock Slide, and as long as we connect this, we win the match. Let me turn on the timer on this man. I didn't say GLHF, did I? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm a bad, I'm a bad sport, dude. That's, that's just a bad look. Yeah, all that matters is that I land this hit. If I land the rock slide, we win. If I miss it, it's going to be really bad. There we go. Get him out of here. And we and we still have the Toekiss in the back at essentially full health. Is it full health? It's literally full health. So if there's a Rillaboom? Yeah, no. GG, dude. GG. Cool. Alright, let's get, let's get another match. I have plans today, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. So we see a really interesting team. Uh, they got three fairies on the left side of the field. So that's definitely interesting. Um, this might be another fast match where I... if you like That's the thing. Like I don't always Dynamax Tyranitar on the back. Sometimes I Dynamax with um, Tokus on the lead because it's just... It's really nice softening up the entire team and then getting in the Trick Room um, and being able to just clean up in the end. So I think this is another fake Zorark game because it just it, the sludge bomb looks so nice on the lead so we're gonna go zorark tokus and essentially the same pokemon like in the back because it just it's just reliable here i have to be a little bit careful with that urshifu um but if i play my cards right i should be good yeah this is this is such a fun team i really recommend you guys try it out um the pace is going to be in the description as always taking a minute he's thinking he's like hmm what do i bring to this matchup it's gonna be really tough hmm what is he gonna disguise as your rock as i wonder okay uh this is an incredible lead for me this is an absolutely incredible lead for me because if he goes for screens i'm actually completely fine <laughs> yeah if he goes for screens i'm completely fine because i'm able to um what's it called I'm able to crit through them, and I'm tempted to just go for the Dazzling Gleam. I'm... Let me think here. I think I should always focus down the Togekiss, since I can probably remove Grimmsnarl this next turn, so I'll just max Airstream here, and Sludge Bomb. As he substitutes up, um, I'm pretty cool with that, actually. Like, just thinking about this, I, I should just be able to knock that out next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Our first two matches have started off with them just not Dynamaxing a Togekiss and, and losing. I think that's how this is going to go. Substitute on the Grimmsnarl is interesting. It might be a bulk upset. Because you, you usually don't run, like, substitute screens. Like, that's just... Because then you have one attack. Alright. Um, so let me think. There's the Urshifu... I should just be able to max Airstream and KO it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really concerned. <laughs> Let me Sludge Bomb here. Or actually, I, I should just Burning Jealousy because it hits both of these. Uh, and I can also go for max Airstream into the Urshifu. There's a Thunder Wave. Okay. Um, I am still double speed though, and he shouldn't be able to one-shot me. So it's still my best interest to Burning Jealousy here and go for another Max Airstream into the Urshifu. Because if I remove Urshifu, I'm probably in a winning position. Yeah, I'm immune, bro. We got rid of the sub. He close combats. Good job, dude. You identified it, finally. And as long as I get my attack off... Yeah, there we go. So what's your Dynamax Pokemon? Because I've lost, I've lost very little, and you've lost a lot here. I can, I can click... Freaking Dazzling Gleam now, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, let me go for the Sludge Bomb. Let me go for the Dazzling Gleam. As long as I remove the Grim Snarl, I should win. There's the Aqua Jet. 
Don't get fully paralyzed. There's the swagger and he misses it. Dude, don't turn my swag on. You wouldn't like me when my swag's on. <laughs> That's such a stupid thing to say. <laughs> it's like the Hulk. It's like the Hulk where he's like, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Except it's like, don't turn my swag on. You wouldn't like me when my swag's on. <laughs> Let me trick him up here and go for the Dazzling Gleam, because he should Dynamax this, this zoom roll. Yeah. Let's see if he targets into my Togekiss. As he doesn't. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, no, this this shouldn't be too bad because I can throw off an earthquake here and I can go for the dazzling gleam. I might have I might have messed up here. I was expecting him to remove the toe kiss from the field. There's the swagger. Oh, he turned his swag on, dude. Don't turn his swag on, dude. All right, cool. Let me go for this uh, rock slide and the follow me. And that should do it. As long as I don't miss. Or, mm, maybe I should just double lash out because of the sand. I I'm willing to go for the rock slide. Oh no. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> and now he can Aqua Jet. Oh, this sucks. No. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That sucked. I'm not a fan. Good game. Yeah, missing the rock side kind of sucked there. All right, because that that might have KO'd. I'm not I'm not certain. We have a lot of attack investment, but that that was probably gonna KO from that range. All right. So this is an interesting one. Uh, we're facing Colossal with obvious setup from the Dragapult, um, and it's very difficult for him to stop my Trick Room. So I'm just gonna go for it right off the bat. Yeah, so we're not even going to fake it this time. We're just going to go for the real Trick Room. Tyranitar in the back, and probably Incineroar is our best option. All right, that's not terrible. That's not terrible, because we can still follow me, Trick Room. Um, Is that my play? I think that's my play. Ah, nice. As he Steel Spikes... Um, I could get in the Tyrannic... Ooh, this might be a tough one, actually. This might be a tough one, now that I think about it. Because you can always just follow me. It's probably... Okay. Well, I guess we're going to Google Translate. That looks like Italian. Google Translate. To English... Mace that damage, Azumarill, okay. Um, let me think here. So in all likelihood, he's just going to be going for an attack into my Tyranitar, giving me my weakness policy. So I could just Earthquake and Protect. As he gives me uh, free damage. Ah, oh, no, he just goes for the Geyser. That's unfortunate. Alright, um, let me think here. Hmm. I can parting shot the Azumarill and attempt a max rockfall. Actually, mm, I should Darkest Lair yet, because he's at minus one. Go for the max rockfall. As long as he doesn't have, like, um, superpower, which he might. He should be alright. Is he just max geysers? Yeah, good game. Unfortunately, we just got nanade. We just got nanade there. Alright, so this is beat up Cobalion. Trick Room option uh, with Milotic. This is one of the teams where it's probably best if I actually just um, go Zoroark mode, I think. Because what they would want to do is they would want to beat up and go for the Max Steel Spike. And if they go for, and because they're faster than my Zoroark, I'll be able to uh, get a Burning Jealousy off. So we're going to try to bait that. And I think once again in the back, we'll just go with the, the really reliable thing. All right, cool. So we're going to attempt the Burning Jealousy. We're going to attempt to follow me. Um, he should just beat up 
I mean, if, if he's smart, he's not going to beat up. We are, we are pretty decently laddered. We're like 15 something. So we might not, but he could also just steal spike and feel comfortable with that. Yeah, cool. We're going to get a burning jealousy off. And we also completely deny him his beat up. All right, there we go. We burned both of these Pokemon, which is incredible. Nice, okay. And it should be really easy for me to get my actual Trick Room off. Um, and here, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a Burning Jealousy once more into my Trick Room. His only move that he could be running is a Dark move, so I should always take the hit. Like on, on the Cobalion, if he wants to one-shot Runarius, it would have to be a Dark move. There's the max steel spike, we get our sash. Nice. Nice. Get another burning jealousy off as we check room up. And it's probably my best interest just to burning jealousy once more and go for this uh, poltergeist into the dragapult. Because I'm going to outspeed the Cobalion. And I don't want to get in Tyranitar unless it's like absolutely free. Alright, that's not terrible actually. We get a decent amount of damage off on the Rillaboom. And we get a burn too, yeah. Because he actually got the, the seed. Cool, in comes the Tyranitar. And uh, I think it's about time we... Uh, it's about time we just rock slid. Or actually, he should fake out. Let me think here. Um, it's probably my best interest just to max Knuckle and Bulldoze. Yeah. Max Knuckle Bulldoze works. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. There's the Grassy Glide. It's going to do nothing because you're burned. And I get... <laughs> I get uh, Grassy Terrain, so I guess that's cool. Thank you. Get this Max Knuckle off. And the Sand should do it. There we go. There we go, dude. I'm really happy with how this match is turning out. <laughs> uh, if the Cobalion comes in, it should be within range of Earthquake since I'm at plus one. There's the Dragapult. I'm just going to go ahead and go for this Max Rockfall and a Poltergeist into that Dragapult. Shouldn't have any counterplay here. He can attempt a Grassy Glide, but I should always come out on top here because I don't die. Yeah, we have a lot of defense investment. There we go. There we go. That's what this team is meant to do, dude. GG, you got no way to win now. Ah, yes. Okay. So we come back from the Nene. We managed to make a Nene comeback. Let's get one more for the session. One more. One more. Because uh, Burning Jealousy is so fun, dude. It's such a cool move. Alright, cool. We face a hybrid Trick Room plus Sun team versus us. They would likely go Trick Room, I believe. Um, but their team doesn't appreciate Runarigus that much. On the lead, I can probably bring... I think to this match, I would actually bring Incineroar on the lead, and it wouldn't be an awful play at all. Yeah, we're going to do Incineroar on the lead. Possibly Tyranitar. Yeah, let's do Incineroar Tyranitar on the lead. It actually is, is a really solid one. It, it checks everything. I can protect my Tyranitar and go for Flare Blitz into this uh, Venusaur if it decides to try to Sleep Powder or anything, uh, since I have Safety Goggles. In the back, I'll bring the Runarigus, and I think my last Pokemon is going to be... It's kind of a toss-up between Amoongus and Toekiss. Um, Amoongus does well if they don't go Sun Mode. I think it's probably just safer to bring Toekiss. Alright, as they opt for the Sun Mode, which I'm pretty fine with, um, I should be able to... I, I don't think they're going to follow me here. So I'm just going to Flare Blitz, and I'm going to attempt to Protect, and hope for the best here. I'd be really surprised if they actually follow Mead, because nothing outright threatens Venusaur unless he's scared of a, a fake out. Oh no, you're just giving me your Venusaur, dude. You're just giving me your Venusaur. Give me my weakness policy too. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. That's what we call a absolute nene moment.
Oh, he lived. That's disappointing. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I'm not going to burn my Dynamax here. It's better for me just to... Huh. Huh. Well, that didn't work out at all. Alright, I should Flare Blitz into the Venusaur again, and probably sack my Togekiss. Oh no, okay, we're fine. I didn't have to burn my Dynamax or anything. He ended up going for Earth Power with his Torkoal, which is hilarious. Um, and I think here, because we saw that on the lead he did have the Togekiss, I can probably go Tyranitar. Yes, okay. And this is probably going to be uh, actually a Dynamax Togekiss match while I Rock Slide. So I'll go ahead and go for the Airstream into the Tokus while I Rock Slide here. If he has Body Press, that'll be annoying, but we're fine. We could also flinch. Get some good damage there. <laughs> some a solid two damage. Let me see if I get this flinch here. That'd be incredible. We do about half. There's the Yawn. As he predicts the Dynamax incorrectly, which is incredible for me, because now I get in my Runaragus and I can go for an Airstream into his Torkoal. Yes, yes, everything's coming together. Everything is coming together. Um, now, I'm not sure if he's minimum speed on his Tyranitar. It's kind of impossible to tell. We are at 46 speed right now. And he should just protect the Tyranitar and attempt to get a Trick Room. Or not Trick Room, an attempt to get his weakness policy, I think. So it's probably better for me if I just outright Trick Room here and go for a max Starfall into the Togekiss. We got the crit. Thank you. It's the Rock Slide. Um, it's in my best interest to Earthquake. He might get his weakness policy, but it's fine. And Dazzling Gleam, because he can't actually deal with both of these options. Yeah, there we go. He gets his weakness policy, but if he rock slides and I don't get flinched, I win. GG, well played. Nice. Very solid session. I, I really want to bring this team on cartridge. I really want to bring this team on cartridge. It's, it's a really fun team. Pace will be in the description. Uh, make sure you follow Evidescent on Twitter. He and I built this team together. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I love this team. It's a really fun time. Uh, you're able to get Trick Room off reliably a lot of the time. And it's just really satisfying clicking Burning Jealousy against things like Cinderace and uh, Corviknight, I assume. Well, not Corviknight because he's you know slower than us. But things that are faster than us. The fast offensive Pokemon. Getting that Burning Jealousy, that's amazing. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.